Mr. King Richards. Yes, man. How many years have you been training for? Well, I've been training for like 11 years, bro. It must be like 11 years, man. Like seriously training. Mm. Yeah, like about 11 years, bro. Like, bro, but I just remember when I was little, I was fat, innit? <laughs> I was fat, I used to eat all the pies, innit? I was a little dumpling and that. Trust me, bro, I would eat like a whole box of cake on my own. Like, you know when you see on TV, like, oh, yeah, you see someone, oh, do you want some biscuits, Harry? Harry takes three biscuits. You're taking the whole damn thing. I'll take it, give me the roll, bro. <laughs> I might give out three biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, everything comes for you, so. That's what I'm saying, bro. So I used to just eat like a pig and, like, I got fat, then I got to school and I got teased, innit? I got teased for being fat, but I was athletic. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's, it's weird. Yeah, like I, I could kind of run fast. I was like kind of agile a little bit. And I like playing sports in it. So in school, I turned to sports because when you're little, when you're a young boy, there's nothing much else you can do in it. I was playing rugby, I was playing football every day, obviously. Um, basketball as well, even though I'm not good at basketball and I don't like basketball. Like I was playing basketball. Um, and yeah, then the weight started to go down. I was like getting better at, at rugby. And I started playing playing rugby outside the school. Then one of my mates, he was playing American football in the UK, and he said, "Yeah, come play for my team. Come see in it." Went down there, watched the game. Was like, "Right, this is sick." Saw a little bit of it on TV. I loved the game, and then I just started playing it. And then I was good at that. And then I got to America because I was good. And then that was it. Now that you're not playing for like a school, you yeah. say you train more or less for peace of mind, or you you train. Or is it like a bit of For me, like training is very therapeutic. Yeah, yeah. Like if I don't train, I feel I feel weird. Like my mental starts to deteriorate the way I feel inside. Like it reflects. It reflects. Some people will look at you and they'll be like, "Oh, you're in great shape." Da, 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 da. But you haven't gone gym for like a week and you feel like a slob. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? I had it before. I hate it. I hate that feeling, it's the worst feeling. It gets to a certain point when you don't just do it because you want to look good, you do it because there's more to it than just looking good. This is my lifestyle, man. I can't imagine not working out. Like, that would be weird, bro. Like, I'm going to be one of them old men in the gym still trying to do a thing and that. But if you're looking, if you're going to go start dating, yo, then basically you think she needs to also be in the gym or does that not matter to you? No, it matters, bro. Yeah? <laughs> Even the last girl I was with, right? Like, when I got with her, she wasn't in her best shape, but she'd always been an athlete her whole life. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, so when I got with her, it wasn't too much to get her into the swing of like going gym regularly, because that was already her life. It was just that she had a like a like a downer. Do you get what I'm saying? Everyone has an up and down. Do you get what I'm saying? It was like an off season. Yeah, like she was in the off season basically. When I got with her, we, we was going gym a lot, and I just feel like now, like, that's like a, um, what's it, deal breaker for me. Like, if, I, if I'm with a girl and she doesn't go, I can't be with a girl that doesn't work out or cares about it. Let's say I'm a person that doesn't go gym. I'm a slob, yeah? I just sit on the couch, eat flipping Doritos and just watch TV. Then I'm with a girl that goes gym six days a week at 5 a.m. Yeah, that one can Bro, you can't, it's not gonna work, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of you two will get, no, more time will be her who gets frustrated. 100%. So much, so much effort. 100%. Yeah. You're playing two different directions, bro. Like, for me, like, working out is a metaphor for life, innit? Yeah. Like, because it takes a lot to be consistent and come to the gym when you don't want to, yeah? Or eat the right things or have the discipline not to eat certain things. I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke. I've done those things before, I've binged those things before, but like at this point, I realize that that is poison to my temple. I don't want that, bro, like. On New Year's, everyone was drinking alcohol around me. I was buying alcohol for my friends. I drank water, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's my life, like, like, you know what I mean? So I need to be with somebody that's on that same kind of wavelength, which is hard these days, but... <laughs> <laughs> you get me? In this day and age, that one there is a uh, needy on a haystack. Yeah, and anyway, for anyone that's wondering, yes, I'm wearing these gardening gloves, yeah? Because, number one, they're thick, they got good grip, yeah? And it matches my outfit, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Colour coordination in the gym is important. Because you know they're going to get on to me, oh, what kind of gloves are you wearing, bruv? Yeah, they're gardening gloves, bruv. They're sick as well. Good grip, good grip as well. Trust that makes me. Sense. Yes, man. I told you I'm going to use these gardening gloves for a reason. There's even a hole in I it. <laughs> the gardening <laughs> gloves, bruv. <laughs> but watch. Yeah? Watch them in action. 
That's, the, that's, the, that's what the gardening gloves do, fam. King Riches, make sure you like the video, yeah? <laughs> Tarzan team, you get me? <laughs> if you're somebody who doesn't go gym, bro, I don't know what to tell you, fam. Even if you're a guy, you, you, all you care about is girls. Bro, do you know how many girls are from the gym in my life, bro? Like. That one's going to car, you can't keep that one in the <laughs> You're doing this whole bag. <laughs> I'm just being real, bro. Like, how many girls are, I've had like two relationships with girls I've met in the gym? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, bro, like, you're missing out on a good opportunity. And where would you rather meet girls? In the gym or in the nightclub? That one there is even a good question. Especially if you were on a serious thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you really want to meet a girl that, yeah, you two are going to be like that, bro. Again, it goes back to, are you evenly yoked? Like, really and truly, I don't even like going nightclubs no more. This is my nightclub. It's Friday night, I'm in the gym. And I drag my cameraman along. <laughs> it's what we do, it's what we do. <laughs> what we're talking about, because obviously we know you're ladies, man. Drop the mic, drop the mic, drop the mic, drop the mic. But we know you're ladies, man, innit? Yeah. Same, same, so, same. So, so, yeah. would you say that meeting a girl in the gym is better than meeting a girl in a nightclub? Oh yeah, no, definitely, 100%. Yeah. 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 I mean, your conversations you can have with them just in the gym, they're better off than being in a nightclub. Yeah. What are you going to be chatting about? And why are you going to be meeting her in the nightclub anyway? So, so you don't do that, no? You don't meet girls in the nightclub, no? Nah, nah, nah. You don't meet nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I don't be doing that, man. I can't be doing that. I would prefer seeing them in an environment where they're going to be better, better in themselves rather yeah. than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get everyone goes out to have fun and everything like this, but the girl that I'm going to be with for the long time, it's gonna be in the gym and then that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to tell, that's what I'm trying to tell guys yeah, man. Like you get me. How long you been training for? Properly, yeah. I would say about two years, two and a half years. But obviously I was doing the football thing from before. So man, most of my life, you know what I mean? Athletes, athletes. Well I don't want athlete turn turn gym, they yeah, yeah. a hybrid in it. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you say like is your main like motivation for working out for like being being in it? Cause it's a Friday night, you know most most mm, men them are here. Yeah. I feel like it's just discipline. I mean, with me now, like where I've been training for so long, it's it's part of the routine, it's part of the daily thing. I mean, I can go out after this, you know what I mean. But as long as I get the gym thing done first, I feel like I'm very productive on my day. You know what I mean? So it feels like you accomplish something in the day. Everyone's got to go to work and do this and do that. But have you got to go to the gym? Have you got to go put your body through something that's gonna better you in the future? I think doing that first before going out and partying. But doing it like, you know what I mean? So how many how many things in your life have you chopped from the gym? <laughs> one there. How would you feel if your woman no, could no, lift more no. than you? Particularly on squats. You know what? <laughs> it's one of them ones where like me, I'm not the type of person who's like, well like if my girl lifts more than me. You know what? I don't know. I don't think I could do it. Well, you, what? What? What do you I mean? Don't... If she's a bad B, she's a baddie, and, and then like, boom, it's, it's leg day, and then she's like, yeah, let me put on another plate. Let me put on another plate. And you're, and you're like, tough, yeah, you're like, you're like, let me get them knee straps. I don't know. Isn't it? it's like, <laughs> I think yeah. In one sense, it would make me want to work harder to obviously beat her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But other sense, you know, we'd be there like. Oh, yeah. It's, you can't even spot behind her, do you know what I mean? You can't, you can't even, you can't even spot her, up, man. I don't know, I'm, I'm not the type of guy who's like too picky and she's, you know, if she's fine and she's, she's good then. i tell you what would happen with me, I'd be doing bare secret training, bro. <laughs> I mean, you have to bare training, I'm 5 a.m. in the gym at 2.30 in the morning. Which you is get me, like, I don't even do them early morning ones, but if that girl can squat more than me, yeah, bro. How often do you do legs? Two to three times a week. 100%. Yeah? Yeah. I've got receipts there. Yeah. <laughs> the man them will see me here, but the man them will see me here. Because you know, bare man just do upper three. body. No, they no, just do three. chest and biceps. You've got to split quads, hamstrings, and then a bit of both. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Whichever one you're feeling more dominant on the day, do more exercise on that part. Implement the other one as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to join my boy to do a little bit of squats in it, yeah? I love doing squats, but I am not going heavy today because I've already done my heavy legs and. I like the way my back is set up. I like the way it's set up. to keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Always warm up, bro. Like, certain times the ego will make you go in and try and lift the whole gym, then the next thing, body broke. How often do you train legs? 
Oh, twice a week, man. Twice a week. Oh yeah. That's good. You know, yeah. most men don't do legs. Oh, we, we gotta we gotta have decent legs. I'd rather have a mediocre upper half than good. You know what I mean? You know. I used to, I used to, I used to think the opposite. Back, I like, was like everyone else. I just want to be big up top, but bro, now I just want my legs to be mad Symmet strong. Symmetry is so important because you gotta be able to carry all that weight with you. You've got chicken legs, man, and you know, you know that man has that like, stick legs, bro. Like, that's I just, weird. I just, I just fucking come and so just get swiped, bro. Like, allow it, bro. Your legs just all swiped. You see our cameraman, yeah, 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 bro. He was the one that really got me thinking about training legs all the time. Bro. Legs, man. Remember, remember who was in the other gym, bro. Yeah, and it makes it makes the rest of your body grow as well properly, like. Yeah, you know the most thing is people don't realize most testosterone is generated through leg workouts. Yes, doctor. <laughs> yes, doctor. <laughs> yes, doctor. <laughs> if you're missing legs, you're missing out on some free testosterone. Yeah. Come on, man. Damn. Ooh. Damn. I'm down there, bro. I'm down there. How would you feel, yeah, if your girl could lift more weight than you? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with a woman lifting more weight, but you know, it's, women gotta get, have good legs, you know what I mean? But as a man, I feel a little. Would I mean, it make you feel insecure? No, me personally, no. I've been yeah. around women who squat heavy, you feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't mind a big girl a little bit, but you know, I still say as a man, you gotta have good legs, man. strength. You gotta have the strength to pick up both you know? So you're saying that a guy should should always work to be stronger than his woman at least. He's got to be, he's got, he's got be the protector, man. Hey, the guy who's got... You've been watching podcasts. You can't do that shit when you go... <laughs> <laughs> you, who's podcasts you've been watching? One of the most media trade doctors I've heard. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. Cameraman said that he squats without using his hands. Yeah? And I'm a daredevil. I'm gonna try it, bruv. Hey, if I make a scene, yeah, I did it for you lot. Like the video, fam. If I drop it, it'll be good content anyway. If you drop it, good content. If you do it, good content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. It's a win win. Yeah, that's a There you go. It's rolling though, it's like it's rolling. <laughs> How are you doing this? It's easy. There you go. Just be slow, be slow, be slow. Love and loss and everything else. Nah, it feels like it's rolling, bro. I can't lie, it's hard to believe sometimes, but I wouldn't want to be anything else. Take over the energy to force you. Nah, man. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be trying to do that now. You, that's in my head, bro. That's jarring. It's like I don't want to push heavy weight no more. I just want to balance it without holding it, bro. I still dropped it. How? And I was two. I put two fingers there. <laughs> good content. Hey, that'll be a good thumbnail, though. <laughs> Now we're moving to the chest and I'm gonna do incline barbell bench press. Alright. Dating is expensive. Having a girlfriend is expensive as well. <laughs> like, our boy just said that like he was meant to go on a date today and he just said nah I'm not going bro like and like he's just gonna have a, a inexpensive weekend. You get me? And I said, I'd rate that because, bro, I know it feels when, you know when you know you're gonna go out, you know you're gonna spend peas that you don't wanna spend, bro. It's not even like you're trying to do anything extravagant. It's just a fact of like, when you step outside, yeah, and you are on a date with a girl, you are going to spend money, bro. Whether you like it or not, bro. And you're expected to as well. And it's expected, Mr. Cheapskate. <laughs> you get me? Let me say one thing to guys out there, and I've said this many times. If you don't have peas, you really shouldn't be dating, bro. Or if you do date girls, make sure you're patterning with girls that don't need anything nice, yeah? Who's just gonna come on Netflix and chill. And you might even not have money for Netflix. It's just chill. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it, fam. Man was talking about how oh, dating is expensive and rare tear tear. And I've got a date tomorrow. <laughs> but. 
you see where it is, yeah? The way I talk to girls, I make them kind of know that I'm not a simp and I'm not just gonna just be like spending money like a dickhead, like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just, it's very calm and relaxed and controlled, like, you get me? But still, there's still gonna be some peace spent. You get what I'm saying? But, but that's just life, man. Man's got a chop in it, you get me? Chop life before life chops you. Chop life before it chops you, bro. Good little warm up and that, yeah. Uh, boxing is like one of the best, best sports, man. Like you don't know me, I played American football, rugby. Um, used to run 200 meters. Uh, I remember I used to be fat, bro. I was a fat kid, didn't it? I was a fat kid. Then I started smoking. You know, I was a little pothead. Yeah. <laughs> then I got skinny. And then, when I was like, bro, I don't want to be a pothead, I don't want to smoke, I don't want any of that crap. Then I just went into training and all of that good stuff. And nah, this is what, this is the life, innit? It's the life stuff. I'm, I don't think I'm like some mad boxer or something, but I know me, innit? And I've scrapped in real life. If I get beat up, I get beat up, innit? It's life, innit? You get me? It's good to get punched in the face. That's a pretty good point. That's a pretty good point. But it's good to get punched in the face, it's very character building. When you get punched in the face, you know who you are, bruv. And everyone else will see who you are, bruv. <laughs> I remember, bruv, I've been kicked in the face. I've been in the face before, bruv. But that was my own fault because I was doing naughty things, so. Anyway, let's, let's, let's cut that out. If you lay too much pipe here, yeah, you start to get weak. It's energy, it's released energy. Energy, nutrients, yeah, yeah, yeah. zinc. Zip, a lot of zinc. You're losing zinc, fam. You're just chopping. Your zinc is depleted, fam. Because I remember when I was still in America, I was playing, I was still playing American football, right? And like I was getting girls kind of easy, so I was chopping girls like easy in it, yeah. And I remember I had this girl at my house like a week straight. And obviously I was just banging her all day. I wasn't even going classes. I was just banging this girl all day. And that bruv, come to the end of the week, when we got the Friday, Friday morning workout. So we used to work out at like 5 a.m. Whole team goes to the gym, pop, work out, yeah? Bro, I was weak as hell, bro. So weak, like. Because I'm not getting no sleep. I'm just chopping, probably eating garbage. And bro, you just get weak, bro. Am I lying, though? Because you like to chop a lot as well. Ooh. Don't put his face on the camera though. Don't incriminate him. What are you saying? Because, bro, it's all well and good in moderation. Everything's in balance and moderation. You need that semen retention. Semen retention? For how long? I say, I say, even a week is healthy. After a week, period, do you I've done a whole year and a half. Is it? Yeah. Rob, where? Yeah. You was full of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even beat beat your meat or nothing? That one day I was just like, I wanted to just retain more masculine energy and I feel like through that I started, I started, I studied a lot, I done put myself through uh, three different kind of courses and um, I started a business. That is yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. That is true though, I noticed like when I haven't busted up for time, yeah, I'm more focused and more like, Arr, like, let's get it, wake up, yeah. wake up. Yeah, because like Cause think about it, like you know, you know you bust and you're just lethargic. Yeah, that's it. Lethargic.
This is a man, it's King Riches. Yeah, big up to the people that have been in the video. Big up to the people that didn't want to show their face. Yeah. Big up to the cameraman. Listen, big up to me, big up to you lot. And get in the gym, man. Stop being a couch potato, stop being an egg. Alright? Anyway, with that being said, we're out of here. Peace.